This is my paragliding story, zero to 100 hours in my first year. This is where I did my training in Sussex on the South Downs with Fly Sussex. Uh, quite lucky to have a lot of one-to-one -one tuition because I uh, took my lessons or started my lessons over the winter period. So these are some of my first flights um, on the South Downs uh, with Tim Scrappy, uh, practicing forward launch in fairly light wind conditions and then uh, obviously practicing the landings at the bottom end. My first wing was a Ozone Mojo 6, which is a really safe wing and pretty good for learning. So my tactics for learning were going to be uh, to try and do as much ground handling as possible, watch the guys on the on the hill, uh, the, the better pilots, so that uh, hopefully it'd be me up there with them one day. Uh, watching as much as possible on YouTube and, and learning that way, uh, and basically just getting out and doing as much as I could whenever I got the opportunity. It took me 10 lessons to pass my CP, uh, finishing the last lesson and passing in uh, April 2022. So completely addicted and uh, this is where the fun really begins. Uh, joined the local Southern Hang Gliding and Paragliding Club and uh, already a member of the BHPA. I guess one of the pleasures of paragliding is being close to nature, uh, not just in the air but on the ground, uh, landing with the goats at uh, High and Over, near to the cows at the bottom at uh, Mount Caban, and then on the road up to uh, Fell Beak and coming across a, a snake slithering down the road as I was walking up. I guess we all remember our first uh, high flight where we get up, maybe get some thermals and get up. Uh, so we've got a good view uh, down below. Mine was about four weeks uh, after passing my CP at Fell. Uh, got all, up to almost 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet, wing up above us. It is amazing. Just trying to hang on to the, hang on to the phone at the moment. God knows how I got up this high, but um, it is pretty amazing up here. Right, gonna tuck my phone back away now before I drop it. And um, I think it would probably cause a bit of damage. As well as the highs, there's quite a few lows. Uh, got to find a few uh, barbed wire fences, quite a few bushes and uh, dragged along the ground uh, a fair bit as well. Now, late May, I met a guy at Phil called Gary who uh, has been massively helpful with regard to my paragliding. Uh, really picked up some good hints and tips from him. Uh, purchased his uh, BGD Epic from him, which again has really improved my flying and spent many uh, an hour on the hill uh, together. There's your love. Yeah, it's probably around about this time I started to get a little bit of a reputation for myself for uh, flying in uh, winds that are a little bit stronger than other people like and uh, gained the nickname Cyclone Steve. I found the Epic much more agile than the uh, Mojo 6, easier to turn, easier to, uh, to spot land and uh, probably the biggest uh, improvement of all was the, the launch with the BGD with the Epic. Um, much easier to get it up over the head and uh, deal with some of the, the stronger wind launches. We're pretty lucky down in Sussex, got some excellent sites uh, and all very close to, to where I live in Seaford. Uh, we've got uh, New Haven Cliffs, Beachy Head, High and Over, Mount Caban, Devil's Dyke, uh, Fell Beacon and uh, Bow People uh, within uh, very close range. Yeah, over the year I managed to uh, increase the time I spent in the air uh, quite, quite a bit. Um, did a couple of flights over four hours, one just over four hours at High and Over, and another one uh, four and a half hours at Bo Peep. At the back end of July, 
managed to get my first uh, very mini uh, XC flight in, flew from High Hanover back to where I live uh, in Seaford, only about three miles, but uh, but great fun. Yeah, another pleasing flight uh, in 2022 was uh, flying uh, flying from Bow Peep uh, out towards Eastbourne and then uh, against the wind, against the northeasterly, uh, did a right and managed to, to land and fly shortly uh, for a short period of time at, uh, at High and Over. This next flight was the, uh, my favourite of the year, flying from Devil's Dyke, managed to get uh, all the way just past Falmer, went uh, pretty much over the top of the uh, Brighton football ground at the MX and uh, got uh, almost to Lewis. Okay, just got to Cloud Base, 4,000 feet just above Devil's Dyke, uh, looking straight at the MX and we're going to head towards Seaford. Still getting a lift here, uh, still pretty bumpy, so we're uh, on the phone away and uh, going to see if we can head home. So the flight was just over 10k, uh, landed down by the A27 uh, just past the, the Amex Stadium uh, in uh, Bournemouth Farm, found a nice, uh, nice field to land in there and picked up by my uh, trusted friend Gary. So I eventually clocked up the 100 hours on the 25th of September, so that's approximately 130 days to do the 100 hours. That's two and a half hours at furl today, just up at about 700 feet. Uh, some punchy thermals coming through, pretty strong wind, uh, but having fun. Uh, so what's that? Uh, Get out towards the 98 hours, so just short of the 100 hours now. Great views up here today. So really good views. Having fun. Just over in the Fly Sussex Bowl. Yeah, once I've done the uh, 100 hours, got that complete, I took my pilot's exam past that, so uh, pleased to have that under my belt as well. This was a beautiful evening at Furl uh, with uh, Tiger Cox and uh, he was out on a tandem uh, with his pet falcon. The falcon flew right over the top of my head and then uh, connected up to the guys uh, on the tandem. Brilliant to watch. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great to see Tiger again because he was one of the, uh, my instructors at, uh, at Fly Sussex who uh, I can highly recommend to, uh, to do your uh, tuition with. Last portion of the video, just going to uh, show you some of the time that uh, Gary and I spent together uh, on the various hills. We uh, come up with a few challenges for each other and generally just had, had a good time and uh, hopefully improved our, our flying skills quite a bit. Not a bad day for flying in the snow. Here he comes. Gary's coming down the hill, only minus three up there. So you're going to get a top landing here, let's have a look. Yeah, come on in for a nice top landing. You might just like get this one in, yeah. Floating down gently. Week spot landing challenge. Gary's coming down. What's he got? About 100 feet to go. He has got this to beat. The good thing is the wind keeps changing direction. He's got 10 feet to beat. He's got no chance whatsoever. This is Steve coming in for his accuracy landing. He's already beaten me once today. 
And I think he's gonna beat me a second time. I'm gonna blame that on me testing a new wing. Let's see how he does. I think the beer is gonna be mine today. Testing it off, just give him a few turns. Not bad, doing too bad for a copper. Going. Clearly watch my line of approach. I think he's going to completely force this out. Yeah, I'm Steve. Oh, new wind. The wind has just dropped completely. It's going to make it a little bit awkward. Hook it, don't hook it. Uh, and he landed on his feet. <laughs> right. I got the beer. Great fun and some fantastic memories. Here's to uh, everybody's safe line for 2023.